<laughs> that boy about a dick. What the hell you doing? We can nigga ain't had nothing. That's it. You on your back. Ah, that is shit strong. I just flipped you, fool. You lost, bro. Nigga, you turn me around when I'm on the ground. Oh, what's the motion, man? What's going on? I hope y'all having a good day today. Oh, let me get about it. Let me get about it. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Hope y'all having a good day today. About to slide to the A. It's Wednesday. Probably gonna stay there about Sunday. Just kick shit. I'm gonna try not to cuss so much in this vlog. My last couple vlogs, uh, I was cussing a lot. I noticed it when I posted the vlogs, but when my sister called me and told me that like, my friends say you cuss a lot in your videos. That's my little, little sister. So I was like, yeah, I need to, I need to watch what I say and watch my language, you know, more on, on these videos and stuff like that. Cause I ain't no telling who looking at these videos, you know, just not a good look. But at the same time, I'm still going to be myself. You feel me? And myself, <laughs> I really don't got no filter. I have a filter when it comes to certain things, but for the most part, I don't really got no filter. That's one thing I need to watch out for. I need to do better. I need to get a goddamn, <sighs> see, look at me. I need to get some more batteries for my camera because my camera be dying, as y'all can see each vlog. I need to get some more SD cards. I'm gonna get some more SD cards today when I get to Atlanta. And yeah, basically, bro, I just ain't been to Atlanta in a long time, bro. And every time I go to Atlanta, I, you know, make some type of connection or something. It's just Black Hollywood. Like, that's just what it is. Like, you ain't no telling who you'll see on the day to day. So, I need to get out there and, you know, make some motion happen for real, for real. I'm supposed to meet up with a couple of celebrities. Hopefully, y'all be able to see who I meet up with. And, um, you know, hopefully I'm able to vlog at least a little bit of it, you feel me? But we're going to try and make some shit happen. We're going to try and make some stuff happen. We'll get there probably around 5, 5.20, 5.30, something like that. But uh, when I get there, I'm linking up with my brothers and stuff. And, you know, we're going to go from there. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Deuce. Just got to the bit, man. It got to the A. I had to go through hella traffic, man, but we here though. Hey, get your motherfucking ass up, bro. Find a shit messy as a motherfucker. Dang. Motion. And then you gone. Y'all must be road running all day. You don't need iron shit, too. You be throwing your shit to wash the girl, huh? Niggas don't need iron clothes no more. Get that front, you gotta get that back on there, yeah. Slick looking crusty, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he just. Bitches get rich niggas and, you know, <laughs> they don't be giving a fuck no more. Some what? We currently may not have lettuce available. Just thinking about this. For sandwiches shit. or salads. Huh? But by adverse weather in the growing region, this is an industry wide issue. We apologize for the inconvenience and appreciate your understanding. It's good. <laughs> no lettuce. Hello? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Dump they dick in it. <laughs> Ice cream before. Phew. Boy, boy, boy. boy. Hey, where my nuggets at, fool? <laughs> nah, for real, because I ain't in my bag. Come on, bro. I ain't for them, bro. Fam, I'm going to send this where, bitch to the tree. I don't know where your phone is, but I know I just ate my phone. And them bitches was regular. You had some spice in it. No, I'm gonna no, I need it. This is regular over here. Break my heart, break my, my heart, break my heart again. I order spicy nuggets. You gave me nothing, man. <laughs> Shit. That boy, young Javiani, young Dame with me. 
Javian, Javian. What's the motion? It's Lil Dane. <laughs> Lil Dane. <laughs> Lil Dane. He's Big Dane. Yeah, he, he got he got to earn his price. <laughs> hey, tell her the, what, what you need to see. What you need? Some some booty pictures or something? What you need? <laughs> Come on, man. I, I, high school, man. Middle school. Nine. That's definitely a nun, but cool seven. That's just your little steelo, huh? I this shit, man, like a little bit over a year ago, man. I don't know if you in. I don't know if you invented it. You don't know no nigga doing that shit before me. I don't know. That's the reason I'm saying. Not from this shit, but probably hit That's what I'm saying. You know me with a big one. Where y'all at? Yeah, you see me. I'm all. Where that nigga at, Yeah. Mm, they got a cranberry crumble. Dude, I get, yeah, I get the crumble berry. Yeah, which one is that one? There's a raspberry crisp and then the yeah. crumble. Let me taste that one. It was one. Didn't it? Uh -uh. What you had got? I tried uh, brown butter almond brittle. Mm. My last lady told me this. I think this is the number one flavor in the state of Georgia. Which one, which one you got? Bramble, bramble, bramble. Uh, oh. Bramble berry. Bramble berry crisp. Right though. Uh, we had urgent urgent that said that we can't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did they hurt me? Tell me to hold that one. Like, <laughs> Them little shots had me a little lit. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. Them little shots had me lit. I seen you booty bumping with Shawty now. I said, yeah, nigga drunk as <laughs> hell. That yeah. nigga said, hey, 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 y'all don't know this shit for real? I said, ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> they said, who don't know this shit? That nigga got the singing it back and forth with their ass. I said, yeah, he lit. You know, I'm on some country shit. I know. But you know, I listen, I listen to music like that for real. Like, R and shit and shit. That'd be my shit for real, I ain't gonna lie. Then you went over there and sat down over there. I said, yeah, he... In between that, yeah. I said, yeah, he was all of us. Oh, I had it too. I seen the opportunity. I had it too. That nigga jumped out the section name. That nigga said, oh, I gotta read that Instagram for real quick. <laughs> like, he was a, 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 a D1 re, uh, a coach scouting the players out. Yeah, sir. <laughs> this shit crazy. Man, they have been doing this shit for a long time. So y'all got different like escorts. Yeah, you got a secret. You got a secret on there. What's the difference in the escort and the secret? One of them's gonna be the same thing as a uh, as a LLC. It's just gonna be both of them. So at the end of the year, you would still split your money. Right. So now we we're not we don't split our money. 
our business is the business. So at the end of the year, we got whatever amount of million dollars in the We don't bust it down. We put it yeah. right. Even business. when our business was like that, we ain't bust it down. That's what I was saying. Y'all on salary. Like, for y'all business. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 You make yourself a powerful person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Tell them, like, we got cars outside and shit. We don't have to pay for them. We get them for free. Right. You get what I'm saying? I got good credit. I go to the car lot. I mean, you don't have to have a down payment because it's a $200,000 car. Right. That's just tears of money. Like, they make you give a down payment because it's over $100,000. If you got some money, show you got some money. Like, right. you buy a damn $200,000 car. Right. But we give the minimum amount of money that they tell us and we have a car now. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shit, I know it's probably money. Everybody can pay to get that car. If you had the credit, I have, you right. ain't got to get it. Yeah. And the pay, it don't cost them $3,000 a month. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't even cost that. It'll cost $24,000. I'm talking about the... Yeah, the, in a year, it cost $3,000. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'll bet since it costs $1,000 a month. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So we get plenty of them all because we got to see your salary. We we made ourselves powerful. That's what I'm telling them. Before you play yourself a salary, make sure you credit paid. Make sure you got them. You don't owe nobody shit before you be taking a salary. Cause get what you gonna get selfish. You gonna get stupid. Yeah. And buy you some shoes. You gonna go buy y'all wearing products and deals and shit. Y'all gotta understand. Get what? I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit. We used to wear all this shit before we had a salary. We don't wear shit for joints the F01. Cause get what? I ain't saying I used to have hair color them all now. I'm a real drip. Every color. Every color. Every color. Every color. Every color. I get all 10 pair of white forces for that shit. And I'm a drip every day. Fuck all that. If you buy a pair of Dior every month, you can drive a goddamn. Yeah, and that too. You can drive whatever you want to. You can go wherever you want to. Right. We don't go nowhere, but like, them shoes, goddamn, it really means something. But you see all shoes. We wear tennis shoes. We buy them all two, three times. Like, I'm buying goddamn the jars. Like, we got them. We buy all them shit two, three times. Yeah. Like, they white, blue, and gray. Put it on with that. I got shoes to match it because I got all the joints that came with that. You think that shit now, but I'm, I'm just being honest. Like, who even care? Like, who care you got on top? Y'all just young niggas and y'all get to that point with it like shit, boy. When you pay, I ain't gonna say 25, but you pay 27, but you ain't gonna see nobody. Yeah. Unless you chase hoes, unless you really are just a poor outside, living man. Like, right. like, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, right now, you outside, it's something to do. Like, you know, cop, you say college and shit. Bro, After you go over 25, shit, like, and y'all like, niggas, if, if it'll be two more years, you got, we ain't got, we in the warehouse. Like, right. y'all at school and shit, around campus and shit, we not, so we don't know nobody. Right. You gotta you understand work. that shit, we at work. So, you just gotta live your own truth, cause it's like shit. Why do I need some nine hundred dollars shoes? Get what we used. To, only reason we stopped buying them for real though, it wasn't even about money or nothing. It was the point that we don't go nowhere, so we used to have products and shit that we had as a year old. Just like in my class right now, I think I got some black Rick Owens. I buy red bottoms and shit just cause they something I, I like. I got like three pair of brand new red bottoms. You Barely wearing. Them. Never worn one. I'm gonna sell these shoes right here. I got so many shoes to like half of these tennis shoes is not worn. Right? Yo, what size what? you wear? Where y'all selling right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I ain't got nothing right now. I, I got And don't even wear them bitches. Like, I wear them one time. But like, that cost me crazy. less than a pair of his shoes. Right. Like, all three of these shoes cost me less than his shoes. Right. I bought them and, two and times. And two more pairs. And your bed, I'll dream it. Because I can wear that, I can wear that right. same fit five different times. I wear bands. He said, we wear uniforms. We do. You want see that about our uniform? Yeah, I see. Got brand new shoes. We put on different shoes and we wear uniforms. Like, I wear black every day. These jeans right here. I already got these hoes at home two times. We don't buy, we don't buy nothing to we other. We don't buy, I don't, I don't buy, buy other things except because of niggas got it. I buy a mirror. Black jeans every time. I buy a mirror. They go, I got these. I already got these. Go look on my page. I wear these whole over and over again, man. Oh, you don't even need that pair. <laughs> 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 Money. Like a rapper link this weekend, maybe like Yevo and some other shit. I got a little Jojo Ben Ben. Well, well, we on the way to see Van Gogh now. Get him some merch and shit. Experience with Tulones definitely was very insightful, very motivational for sure. Like, that's my first time meeting him, so I ain't really want to make it like on no fake shit for real. Like, not even on no fake shit, like on some, what's the word? Like, I wanted them to really talk to me. You feel me? So I didn't know how they were acting, you know, with a nigga in there with a camera in their face trying to ask them questions and shit. Like, I recorded a little bit on the slide, but, and all, I just wanted to really, you know, talk to them for real, for real. So I ain't really record like that. And my battery, I got to get a new battery ASAP. Uh, 
so my damn well, every time I go out and my shit die I can just switch out my battery but very insightful very motivational y'all y'all see the clips or whatever um, hopefully that ain't my last time uh you know locking in with them or whatever but y'all see what's going on we on the way to chop it up with them oh hopefully I get some footage of this where well, I am gonna get some footage of this so yeah I'm about to lock in I'll see y'all when we get the deuce Every day, like, I got six bitches that go crochet. Like, caught up putting. Oh, yeah. That's why I never feel like that. I'm just in the car and I'm gonna call. Alright, but. Uh, yeah, different locks. Hey, is it alright if I record? Yeah, you good. Alright. Alright. What's going on? Trip. What's up, bro? What's up, my wife? What's up, you good? Cameron. What's up, bro? Cameron. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? I'm in a new relationship and I love it. I'm in a new relationship and I love it. I'm in a new relationship. I'm in a new I'm in a new relationship. Love it. That shit slide, Pink. What's up? Did we do Alice on the version? Uh, no. That way. Yeah. Them the ones he gave you, them um, them the red ones that uh, black ones. Bro, I know, I know. Keisha said she wanted the black ones too. She gonna love the black ones. Yeah, I brought you like uh, this my these my new glasses. Oh shit! Okay, you coming like that? Hey, bro, he come trim, motherfucking trim. Yeah. Man, I just cleared the bus. Oh shit. When you come out with you, how much you gonna say to you for? Who you gonna make Uh, yeah. In uh, China. You getting them that fast? Yeah. Uh, this ain't nothing but laser. Uh, this ain't nothing but laser. They don't take long at all to get this shit. How long are they taking? They take literally like a week. Uh, oh, these hard as fuck though. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I brought, I don't know if Keisha wear something like that. I brought, I brought, uh, I brought both of y'all shoes. It's really like my, my last season drop. I'm waiting on all my new shit to come in right now. That's one of my shirts I got. Like a uh, Dolores Zippo for real. That's like, he got my eyes for him. Oh, this tall. This is a small meter. That's medium. Oh, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. On one tape, baby, that's all. You mad cause I moved on. You mad cause I moved on. Studio. Going to get goddamn Bango and Benny shit real quick. Chinatown. Chinatown. As soon as he get done eating, I'm gonna say, yeah, now pick up them lenses. <laughs> stand your tall ass up. Post up in your motherfucker. Throw some foes or something. <laughs> this bitch a real. Wait. Say, finish him. Wait. Come from diaphragm. They got a whole bowl of that shit. Can I get two general toast of chicks? I'm about to eat some two chicks. I'm on the sale. Pork fried rice. No eggs. No eggs. Yes, yes. The, uh, the pork, no eggs. Yes. 
and uh, I want that's for my two uh, uh, artists, and then I want. Uh, <laughs> oh, cool. I did. Favorite song of music. She said I don't need her anymore. She said I don't need her anymore, and it's okay. If you could bounce, if you could bounce on the vocals, that would be great. You know, I appreciate that food for sure. That boy ain't through that. Though. That shit gonna slap like two in the morning. morning. Yeah, about about three in the morning. I might tear that whole up. Ooh. She said, "Let don't live anymore, and it's okay with me." She said, "Let me get away." She's a lost soul. I put diamonds on her, and she don't enjoy it. Upgraded to the penny from a rolly. She remember when? But can you hold me? Yeah, what it is, guys. I'm just hoping I'm not my fault that she don't slow down. I said, yeah. She said, yeah. She said, yeah. I ain't gonna have no pop, man. I need a little pop, baby, on my head, boy. Sometimes I be getting a little stomach. Sometimes. I'm gonna start. Sit up. Sit up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And he say, uh-huh. We chillin' though. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I'm saying, you ain't even about to say about these. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I said, we all hear me, I'm loud as hell. Stop acting, he can't help you. Stop listening to him and want to talk to him. Just go on, get in there, fool. Just go on, get in there, fool. Listen, bro, just come get the five. You can't die. You know what I used to do when I used to throw a little trail in the five? I get in that five. <laughs> get your family, bro. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Get low. Get low. Get low. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna dump you on your seat. Hold on, hold on. Hey, you got his ass. Nah, ain't no hold up. Ain't no hold up, Dave. Ain't no hold up, Dave. Ain't no hold up, Dave. See, you should have went ahead and did his ass here. Hey, let me take my shoes out real quick. You just said that advantage. I'm just saying. Ooh, you like getting that little shell bow finna. Dump your shit. Keep them holes on, Trey. Come on. Back on. What are you doing? Put them back on. 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 Put them back Trey Todd. But I'm gonna rely on my strength though. He's a baby. Trey Todd. <laughs> Alligator roll is there. <laughs> this shit too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> that boy about a dick. What the hell you doing? We can't nigga ain't had enough. <laughs> 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 oh, that's it. You on your back. Ah, that shit strong. I just flipped you, fool. You lost, bro. Nigga, you turn me around when I'm on the ground. Dean, nigga, tired as fuck. I'm chilling. I just flinched you just to show you the, the stream. I could have picked you up, but I got neighbors. You were big, Damn. Damn. You went back to do all that shit, y'all. That boy sweat. I do none of that. So, it's boosting my image just because they like, hold up. Bro, going, doing all this crazy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? They gonna see the growth like, oh, he going embroidery now on the leather bubble coats and all that, woo woo. So yeah, the money came out, but it's instant gratification. Soon as I drop this shit, that money made back times three. So it's like, damn, that nigga just won, but it wouldn't have been really a win if it was anybody else. Not saying anybody else, because there's other niggas booming too, but it just, it's just like, okay, I'll spend this, but for one, will I make my money back? I can look at it like that. And then, and then B, how fast can I make it back? You see what I'm saying? That depends on you. Like, that is outliers. Like, you gonna make it back quick because niggas just gonna do that. So they fuck with your shit. If niggas is fucking with your shit, it don't matter if you dropping some shit from Pakistan, China, or some DTF, some stitch song shit you did at the career. Like, niggas gonna fuck with it if they fuck with it. You gonna make it money back regardless. You feel me? Like, that's but you still, and the cap too, the cap got to come in too. I mean, the cap, so you know, that the best shit about every load. Every, the, the money made back is quick. Now, the hardest part is getting the profit from it. 
You know what I'm saying? The pro I mean, that's what I meant, the profit. But if you got there and drop this shit and sell out in a weekend, your profit, yeah, before you can think about what the fuck you spent on it. ETF allow you to be way more creative, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Because it's versatility, you feel me? Like. It's basically no limits to whatever you create. Even if you take that, you take that up the street to a local screen printer, they're gonna tear your mouth out because it's too many colors. Yeah. Way too many colors, and they ain't even probably, niggas ain't even probably got that many screens to even print that shit. So then it's really, really, really. You think this shit expensive? You know what I'm saying? I could tell uh, niggas like even when I tell niggas how big I'm printing and unlimited colors, and they see it, a lot of niggas will love to hear forty dollars. Anything worth having just gonna cost. You feel me? Like, yeah, we can talk about, you know, the lowest or the best, you know what I'm saying? But when that shit come in, you know what I'm saying? It's literally gonna be what the fuck you paid for it. Just like Tulane was saying the other day. Fashion is just inflated. So yeah, you might have to pay more for it. You know what I'm saying? Man, you been went up on prices. He complain all the time. You nigga talking about motherfucking $80 just for the motherfucking bottoms. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, hell, we all losing. Uh, how really about, deep what you got? What you got waiting in the shit? Uh, track suits. I got some track suits. But he was that, trying to that, do like that one um, then. He but was like, trying to do some bubble coats with some, some sweatpants. So that nigga was like 120 just for the whole setup Set, like, like type shit. The I got, pants alone was like pants, how much? Uh, ninety. Yes, he yes. wanted. He wanted. Like I got, like, it's a high. It's a high quality manufacturer too. He lit as fuck, but I mean, still, it's not even worth it because I could go China for the hoodie and pants. No bubble jacket. Oh, and bubble pants. jacket and pants. And, the, and he wanted like fifty. For the pants alone, though, Shawty wanted some outrageous shit. You feel me? And then when it was time to bargain with him, nigga get to bringing up accolades and who he worked with and the quality That's of the shit. Do, That's what niggas gonna do. So guess what? Guess what? Guess what? So now what do we say? Oh yeah, we just gonna drop down to the seventeen dollar because we want more cap. But now you really ain't getting the cap you want because you can't charge for that shit. Niggas ain't paying it when they see that shit. Versus this shit over here, nigga. Yeah, this how you win too. With that sample shit, I build the hype up, build the hype up for that. This right here, you take a picture in that hoe, you can drop that bitch tonight. Have them bitches ready by tomorrow once you get your prints in and shit like that. Like that's what I like about this shit. You can have that shit <laughs> right now if you need it. You feel me? Like so. overall, no matter what angle you look at. It, yeah, all the factors that you 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 input into this equation to get this output at the end of the day is it really worth it. Think about the whole, you know what I'm saying, process. You really can get lit fast off this shit. Like I wake up and think of some hard shit and be like, oh, and nah, I he didn't see me and I email that shit straight to Winston and by eight o'clock that night we in a whole photo shoot. I'm gonna sleep. I done woke up to three racks off an idea. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas cannot do that, and they get discouraged when they gotta. You get an idea, and then you gotta send the mock-ups in. Yes, brother, we can do, brother. And then now you gotta goddamn politic with they ass. Y'all gonna go, y'all for a hundred percent gonna go back and forth a few messages about fucking the price. We all know this shit. And then once they say they can do it, you gotta get your ass up or however you gonna send the money, send it to them. You know what I'm saying? Maybe three days after that, they will start cutting your fabric and shit. Like, I done been done sold out, bro. I just went <laughs> viral on your ass. <laughs> you up here talking about, yeah, they start cutting the fabric today. <laughs> yeah, they will be in there in a minute. They start, they send me a video of them cutting it. <laughs> I done went 10,000 on TikTok on your ass. I'm good. I'm linking up with rappers and shit. Like, it, bro, to me, bro, that shit is fun, bro. But even without that shit, bro, I would have kept rocking the airbrush shit out. You feel me? But I got tired of working on on their schedule. Miss saying, like, as my orders picked up and shit, Miss saying couldn't keep up with that shit or cop. You know, I'm waiting on them and shit. It making me look bad and shit. Cause like, let's be real, they're airbrush artists, so they hustlers too. They making money every day. So you coming in here with these loads and shit. You know what I'm saying? They trying to fit your shit in and still make their everyday money because they got a business to run. Right. That's why. That's why I stopped that shit. And then my only, literally, my only other option to stay cons is kiss consistent as I was, was to do the DTF. And that's when I was going to JSI every day, getting vinyl. And when they first started this shit, they had like a, a off-white Jordan 1 on a hoodie. And I was like, damn, I was like, how y'all made that? What's that, screen print? They like, nah, DTF, as big as you want to print it, as many colors, super vibrant, all you gotta do is heat press it. 
And then at the time, that shit was hella convenient. And then I started off with the little Rich Boys t-shirts with the race car man. And then once I did that, the fucking reaction to that shit was fucking crazy. They were like, damn, you done turn this shit up. Like, let's go. And then shit, by that point, I, I called Chad. Let's get the website going. I already knew what I was about to do. Like, I already knew. And I ain't give a fuck what it cost because I was already sitting on about 10000 from Airbrush. And I literally pushed all that shit into this shit and it just never stopped rolling. So, manufacturing, bro, that shit, man, it's a lot of shit you can goddamn input into that equation onto why you shouldn't do that shit or be more hesitant nah, to do that right. shit. Nah, that shit right. there hell, yeah. bro. I ain't saying We done yeah, ran off said. on and they take their time and be lying. You gotta wait on them. Nah, just because you know how it be, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's cool, don't get me wrong. You do good, you a nigga that do, you do good business. It's the reason why you're doing pre-orders. Nigga not even gonna pre-order with you if they ain't thinking that they gonna get it, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta put all your trust into a manufacturer. Millions of miles away, bro. And and that's cool, but we're running pre-orders. They literally have to do what they gotta do. Like, I'm banking on y'all to do what y'all gotta do. Cause I already done took these for money. Especially working on varsities, they act like they just retarded when it's time to work on varsities. They take a hella long on those. But that's the point of the simple though. My simple is perfect. Only thing he gotta fix is a little bit long on the arms and a little bit more cup on the wrist. He can do that. He ain't gotta fix no logos, no nothing. He got all that. He know what to do. Now it's time to get to work. Get the simple in three days. A varsity simple in three days. What Simone is saying, just be you. Yeah, just be you. It will work for you. It will work for you. And that shit, you feel me? That's just how, that's the route I gotta take. Cause Bro, that's just what I'm trying to do right now. A nigga like that will never lose. Mm -hmm. Kills never lose. I don't give a damn what a nigga say. I don't like his shit. Well, them 10 niggas over there liked it. Cause they just bought a lot of shit. <laughs> that just go with anything. You know what I'm saying? My favorite rapper, you might think he trash. Like, that's just a nigga like Key Money, like he always gonna win. Like, he just always gonna win because he's not afraid to put that shit in your face. Like, he just not, bro. That shit just. He's not scared, bro. The numbers on the screen. Uh, this is a month and 10 days. And you see what's going on online store. This ain't none of that fake shit. Y'all niggas be creating orders and shit. That shit cap. On the average, I'm gonna make $125 it's crazy though. Look at better. That was way better than That's that. That's crazy. Chill out, bro. My no, but I ain't I know my though. shit's supposed to be over 4.99. No, my I'm not saying that. Oh. I'm saying, look, you was to get this number up, uh, you just got that bitch up to 4%. Yeah. That shit'll be up so much higher. Like but you up fifty thousand off of one percent of conversions. conversions. So, so that's a good point he made, man. Like your conversion rate, that shit matters, bro. It matters, bro. It definitely matters because that's actually, if I'm not mistaken, turning it into a sale. So yeah, like somebody comes on your website, actually commute, making that a sale, an actual sale, not just visitors. Right. You want people to come on there and actually see it. I want it. Buy. It. And niggas be showing uh, the live view of their site and oh yeah, the site going crazy. There's no, a it's whole not. bunch of people on that. We bitch. just on this bitch scrolling. Your site ain't doing shit. Stop <laughs> showing them dots on that map. That don't mean that. <laughs> right. That's just a whole lot of people looking. Right. You don't want a whole lot of people looking. You want to be a whole, whole lot, lot of people, people going to that motherfucking cart and buying this. But shit. the consistency of me being in stock. Uh, fluctuated a lot from uh, a lot of October and November, so yeah, that conversion, yeah, too. yeah. So, uh, like my first month, my conversion rate was like down there 5.1. Like, look, I hope they can see that shit, but it say 1,000, 1,000 sessions, 968 sessions for reached account, reach checkout. So, they went to the checkout, basically, they abandoned that hope, mm -hmm. and then sessions converted, it's 364. 364. Oh, just say you would have got. A hundred more conversions. If you don't know what's going on, uh, made by Trez. Uh, I dropped my website um, early October. You know what I'm saying. So even still, uh, here we are. We just got to December. You know what I'm saying. I haven't even been doing this a full three months. You know what I'm saying. And within them first two, you know, we just looking at a month in ten days. I made fifty thousand dollars by basically every ten people, three people buying something. All right. Out of every 10 people that came to my site, if you can just get every 10 people to come to your site, if at least, I don't know what y'all prices are and what y'all selling y'all merch for, but if you can at least get three out of those 10 people to shop, you can reach $50,000 in almost 
three months. Like, yep. there's a lot of people, parents won't see that in a year. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's crazy. That even shit to think is about wild. It. That shit like, customers. Is you listening, nigga? Do you got something to add to that hoe? Crazy ambition. Crazy ass nigga. Nigga ain't made a mock up all goddamn week. That boy said, hands on the head of uh, fire up that cush as I walk through the door. As I hit her with that flesh, she's gonna be begging for some more. Now watch me work. Look at her. Let me, let me talk to my camera real quick. Yeah, yeah, man. I barely recorded today. Just cause, man. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a long day. I got my car booted today. That really blew me. It's being in Atlanta, period, like, you just don't spend unnecessary money, but like, yeah, I better come down here with something. It was a straight little day. I really kicked with my brothers all day. For we had a good little discussion today. We had a, we was talking about a lot of shit today, but anybody that's trying to start a brand or a business, like, of anything, for real, for real, you can kind of, you know, apply what we was talking about earlier to really any business that you talking, that you doing, you feel me? A lot of people be scared to do shit. But how you know you're gonna be good at it if, if you don't at least try it? If you don't at least start it, you feel me? At least try. Interested in doing anything that you feel like will make you happy or that you will be passionate about or that you just wanna try. Do the shit. You might end up falling in love with it, build a whole career out of it. You feel me? Me and my line brothers, we started, I started my brand in 2019, 2020. My line brother Trey, he started his clothing brand in 2017. My other line brother started his clothing brand in 2020. He used to pray about times that we was in the position that we're in with our clothing brands, you feel me? It's crazy to see like the direction that we going with our clothing brands. Like everybody started with a clothing brand, but everybody going in different directions with our clothing brand. You, you know, this may be the idea at first, but this idea could bring up another idea to lead you to what you actually supposed to be doing in life and your journey and your passion on, you know, just whatever you want, whatever makes you happy, you know, doing, you feel me? Don't nobody want to be stuck in no job. Don't nobody want to be stuck in something that they don't want to do for real, for real. Step out on that leaf of faith. Like, it ain't never too late. Until you take your last breath, it ain't never too late. You feel me? Do what you want to do. Do what you're passionate about, but, I'm about to take it in, man. Oh, I'm tired as fuck. It's like four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Four o'clock, one of them. Going to sleep. What's going on? Uh, another day, another dollar. We still in the eight. So thought we was just gonna be watching the games all day and shit. Another motion play. We on the way to uh Funny Marco. We about to go meet up with them, try and get them some some merch from uh our our uh people's brands and stuff like that. So. Correct. Yeah, we on that right now. We on that right now. I uh, I try and get some footage and shit like that of uh, you know, when we with them and shit like that. So yeah, we on that right now. What's up? Hey, nice What's up? What's up? Why you good? Yeah, it's trying to be, bro. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. This mom right here. This Cambridge. What's up, bro? You good? Yeah, yeah, blessed, bro. What's up? Uh, Y'all wear glasses. Y'all wear frames. Yeah, I always like that. I didn't, I didn't want to be on camera in the first place. While you were single? Huh? Yeah, I know. That, that North Face hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's a Supreme collab. That bitch hard. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you fucking with him, bro? Yeah, hell yeah. Who made the merch? This is my clothing brand right here. I just got glasses. This brown. Them the ones that I got on right now. 75. They 75? Yeah. And then it's a clear pair. I think that's a clear pair. Yeah, I'm the clear pair right there. How long have you been doing this? Shit, I've been doing this for uh, two years. He's <laughs> trimmed. It's seven figures, man. Goddamn. See the frames, bro. That way. Know what's going on? Go get the fucking glasses. Go get the right? <laughs> hey, see the, see the quality on them. Hey, and they don't break. Let me show y'all. <laughs> 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 Great. 
Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> That's the thing about Atlanta, bro. Like, like we was coming up here for Marco. See fucking Bryce Young coming in, hoe. Like, straight work. Third, we do this. Straight work. Straight. Chances make champions. You feel? Yeah. Me? Putting that on the back of a hoodie. Man. Get locked in with Marco and Bryce Young. Got their number, everything. This shit crazy, bro. I see what we doing, man. I've been making Won't plays. You see what I've been doing. Telonez. Second day we took down. Telonez. Third day. Coca Vango. Yesterday we ain't had no motion, but we were working though. Website, got the website. Got the website done. Did a drop. Made some bread yesterday. And today. Met up with funny Marco and Bryce Young. Come on, man. Look. This shit really meant to be. It's starting to feel like I'm built for this. We making moves, man. We making money plays. All type of plays. We gonna get our name out there, bro. Like, it's crazy coming from Birmingham. Like, people think I got clout in Birmingham. Then when you come to Atlanta, all them little followers and shit that I got don't mean nothing out here, bro. Putting your name out there like that, bro. That's all you gotta do. Pop your shit. You gotta let folks know that you are somebody. You are somebody to know. And that just come with talking with confidence, speaking with confidence. Yes, yeah, all regular motion. people. You can't be too high on nobody. Of course, you know, niggas got fans and shit like that. Yeah, you know, we we're too. We're <laughs> fans of people. I'm a fan of Marco. I watch his videos all the time. Literally all the time. Bro, I'm the biggest Alabama fan you'll meet. That Bryce, Bryce Young in that hoe. Like, come on, bro. But at the same time, it's nigga, respect you though. Posted? You feel me? You got a nigga gotta respect just you just like you Bryce respect Young. him. We're gonna get right, man. It's only up from here, and this is just one, one little, just one little week in Atlanta. Imagine if I lived here. Working, nigga. That way. Hey, you know what the fuck going on? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That way, that way. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Crazy fool. We working. On the way back to Birmingham right now. Yeah, man, just to recap the, the week that I got here Wednesday, Wednesday. Touchdown a little late Thursday. Went to Timonez. That was a great experience. Just That's something that... I aspire to be, you know, in some type of way. Not saying that I want to get, you know, I want to run my business like theirs and I want to be exactly like them, but it's just inspirational to see something like that. Black men creating something out of nothing, you feel me? And also putting other people on and making opportunities for other people, you know, like that's very inspirational. And that's something that I, you know, aspire to be like. Very motivational to go see that, chop it up with them, have them see my face and let them know my name, you know. One day when I do blow up and I do, you know, doing what I'm doing, they'll be like, man, we seen that man, we seen that man in our warehouse, talking to him, giving him some game like that. Like, yeah, we were, we, we seen the vision, you feel me? Like, we knew he was gonna be somebody. And Friday, went to go drop off at Coca Bango in the studio with him, that was hard. Uh, meet up with Bryce Young and Funny Marco, giving them some some stuff for my brand and bad day numbers and stuff like that we locked in so you know overall it was very successful weekend you know as far as like getting my name out there in Atlanta you know I'm on a quest to build my name up build my brand up what I'm doing with the YouTube stuff that's why I'm not trying to, I'm not on no trying to fake it and do gold digger pranks and pranks and prank videos and Look what, look what I made her do in 10 minutes, blood. Like, I ain't on that. Like, I'm not on that type of time. Like, I'm just vlogging my life and, you know, my life is, I feel myself elevating. I feel myself elevating in a way, you feel me? It's only up from here. So, um, it's, it's just about getting in them rooms where it really matter. You getting in them rooms where it mat uh, people matter. And that's, on, that's what I'm on, man. That's what I'm on. The Birmingham, I don't, people think I go out a lot. I do not go out when I'm in Birmingham. I really don't. Like, I go out for a special occasion and I'm a bartender, but I don't be going out like that because it ain't nothing to go out to. I done, did, I done did everything there is to do in Birmingham. Like, that shit just not fun for me no more. Like, that shit just, it's not the way. Yeah, we on the bigger and better things and I'm on a quest to, you know, find a new opportunity, find new opportunities in different cities and bigger cities. That's why I came to Atlanta and did what I did. You feel me? So, we on that. Um, but, yeah, appreciate y'all for tuning in. I hope this was a good vlog. I think it was a good vlog, you feel me, for, you know, all that I had going on. It was very, it was good to me. I had a great week, I ain't gonna lie. I saw my brothers, I got work done, like, met new people, met, networked a lot. Like, it was a very successful week to me. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it just as much as I did, you feel me, so. But, yeah, until next time.